Boker Tov, Yom Tov, Azarim Tovim, and Laila Tov. Good morning, good day, good afternoon, good evening. No matter where you are at, this is Carrie, and I am going to be speaking from my heart today about something else that I have been pondering. Uh, again, I, I see many discussions on Facebook, uh, which is definitely a place to go to see discussions, and some of the things that people are starting to look at and challenge, and I'm very grateful that there is, there's many more that are out there challenging than I ever thought that there would be. So I can tell that we are, we are in the great revealing as light has increased, and so therefore people are challenging, are challenging old paradigms, which we, we need to be doing. So I wanted to talk about uh, kind of a continuation of where we left off from Hillel and just kind of explain a little bit deeper uh, from my perspective of uh, light and darkness. So Hillel, as Ken has broken down for us before, means light. And then the Hebrew word for darkness is Lila. And when you look at them in Hebrew, they are the exact same gematria and meaning that each Hebrew letter has a, a number assigned to it. It has a number value. And when you add up the numbers for Hallel, as well as the numbers of Lila, they are the exact same. And whenever numbers equate to be the same thing, then they are in fact related to one another and should be seen that way in connecting the two. In reality, you cannot have one without the other. So when we look at Lila, Lila is the twin teachings of light, instruction, through mother and father, the twin teachings of light and love that will be revealed to you in darkness, uh, which you can also look at in ignorance, meaning not having knowledge, so that in their revelation, you will see the light, Hallel. These words are one and the same. So in reality, the light came to the darkness in order to reveal the light. Hallel to Lila to reveal Hallel in the circle of time. Now enter in the word Lucifer. Lucifer is a Latin word that was created by the Church of Rome to make people fear the light, as Lucifer means bringer of light which comes in the darkness, in our ignorance, in order to reveal that we are the light within the darkness, so that all can be brought into one. The Church of Rome wanted to keep everyone in darkness so that they would never know the truth, that we are both Hallel and Lila, light and dark, potentiality. So the Church of Rome created Lucifer, a completely different entity in the creation of the inverted verse that was then set on course to do unspeakable things. Because I have no doubt that there is a being out there with the name of Lucifer that has an entity within it, a lower regressive entity that is controlling and using a vehicle called Lucifer to do unspeakable things. I am not going to say that that doesn't exist, but I do know that we are creators and we create the ability of these things to manifest. So the Roman Catholic Church created Lucifer in order to obfuscate Hallel and Lila from us. And therefore, it became perverted. But the beautiful side of this is the original Hillel was not perverted, nor was Lila. They are of pure and in innocent intention, waiting for those who are pure and innocent to discover the truth in the time of the revealing. Because only a clean hands and a pure of heart can ascend this mountain of revealing. And all others must stay at the bottom and circle around the mountain until they find the way up and out through the restoration of purity and innocence of intent. 
what we are doing is we are reframing the intention of the original words so that we as creator beings can then take it within us and manifest it in our world and for the sake of the world by becoming it first. That is the restoration of all things. Becoming Hillel in the Lila, becoming the light in the dark, knowing the potential that we are both as one. Shalom, shalom, and namaste.